Welcome to the Weird and the Weary. I'm Jason. With me is Kevin. Hey, everybody. And Lee. Oh, hello there. And uh, how's how's everybody's week been? How's everybody going? Wonderful. With their, with their wonderfulness. You're wonderful? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mine was busy. Good to hear. Good to hear. Busy week? Busy, busy week? Very busy week. Yeah, yeah. Same here. I was really looking forward to Friday. Friday? I hate being that person. You know, you want to just wish your life away. I don't want to wish my life away. You want Friday to come, but that comes at a cost, so it's like you just got to trudge through. Yep. That would be a waste of uh, a wish. Yeah, it would be. I just wish I was dead, but you got like two more to <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it. Fine. Linger around until I do something with my death. It's like the depressed genie, you know? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. That's like 18 people. Just I wish you'd be dead. <laughs> wish my life away. It's goddamn millennials <laughs> ruining the genie market. Let's make it gone. I've been in this bottle for a long time. Look, I'm not just going back in. you got to wish for something better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's been a busy week for me, too. Uh, my, my, my kid just got a car, so... Ooh. First car. First car. Congrats, Jason's kid. <laughs> very, very, very big deal. Yeah, I remember my first car. G- good times, right? Yeah, good times until, uh, until it got wrecked. Oh, it got wrecked. Oh, no. That's yeah. no good. That's I bought good. a wreck. Ooh. 100 bucks. I mean, it lasted me for a little bit. That's right. a good investment. Yeah. It was yeah. a Pony, Pontiac Grand Am, 89. Mine was a Plymouth Caravan, oh, or a Dodge God. Caravan. Mine was a Dodge Caravan. Had uh had rust along the uh, the top of the windshield. Mm-hmm. So when it would rain, the uh, fabric on the top would fill up. Oh, oh, a God. bubble of water. It would just, yeah. just drip. Oh, that's so nice. I, I squeezed so much caulk in there, just... As much silicone as I could fit. Just stuff that cock yeah, right in. It just stuffed it all stuffed in there. It. Like, just tremendous pressure with all the caulk. Yeah. Like, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Didn't work. Didn't work. Well, that's fine. Your car's just trying to cool you off. Give right. you a little... It's like a hamster. They got the little drip tubes. Right, yeah. If I get thirsty while I'm taking a long distance drive. Yeah. You know what would have worked? I think you would have filled it with epo- uh, epoxy. And then, like, seal that off. Right. Flex seal. Oh, or, yeah, Bondo, right? That's the stuff. Good stuff. I think you're thinking of Hostess. That's the stuff. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. I do like a good Hostess cherry pie now and again. Oh. Um, now they, you know, they brought them back. They're smaller. Okay. And they're, 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 they're greasier. Mm. Greasy. I like chocolate dials. Oh, chocolate dials are good. No, no. They, they've come back out as chocolate-covered Twinkies, but... Back in the day, they used to actually be called chocodiles. Yeah. It had like this, this uh, like um, crocodile looking dude. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember. Oh, yes, I remember. Yes. Yeah. Now they're yes, you're right. Now they're called chocolate covered Twinkies. Yeah, but it says on thing. it, but it has quotes chocodiles low in the lower part of the label. Oh. But they keep snowballs. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I I so I don't know. I, sorry I like, everyone. I hate marshmallow. I'm not a big marshmallow. Person. I don't like marshmallow. I like coconut, but not marshmallow. Right. Oh, Unless I'm they're the on s'mores. Opposite. S'mores I, are great. I hate coconut. You hate coconut, but you like marshmallow. I like marshmallow. So, you, will you eat peeps? Nope. I will never touch peeps. No, like there's no peeps. reason to. I'll okay. just get marshmallow if I want it. Okay, that's good. See, so this guy's sane. See, peeps are just for the insane. They're just for not people. They're good for, for, for the aliens. They're good for wrist rockets. Did you guys see all like the weird peep branded everything that happened this year? Yes. Yeah. Cool. There's like a peep mayonnaise. Uh, no, that's a Cadbury egg mayonnaise. So the the, the shit that's inside of the Cadbury uh, cream egg. Yeah. Oh, so they, it's they sweet mix. mayonnaise. No, just, Please don't ever say that again. No, uh, is just, it? It's real mayonnaise. Yeah, it is. It's real. I thought it was. It, it, they showed it on uh, April Fool's Day. Yeah. And then. Uh, and then it was real. Right. I remember it's uh, Bill Oakley uh, tweeted about it, and you know I thought it was just a joke, and I was kind of sad he wasn't going to do his one minute review on it. Hmm. Well, he uh, did a good review on Mayo Chup. Oh, you know, that was the guy right in the yeah, wallpaper. Yeah, he's my wallpaper now. He's <laughs> my inspiration, Bill Oakley. <laughs> he's my wallpaper. He's just on the wall. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he did a review of Mayo Chup, which. Makes me feel sick thinking about it. I mean, I, I like mayonnaise, and you know, sometimes like on a like a turkey sandwich. That's mayonnaise fine. is a what sometimes a, food. Right. What about a burger? No, no, Not really, no. So I like the ketchup mayo mustard mix. It has to be good mustard. Can it can't be that yellow shit? Look, I'm I'm not afraid to go and get a McDonald's. 
hamburger sometimes. Yeah. So that's I hate ketchup though. Oh. But for some reason that blend is it's just so familiar. Sure. And it's always tasted the same, so that's that's that. But like if I go somewhere else, I don't even really get condiments. I'll, I'll take whatever they put on it. That's that's the way I roll. You just yeah. take however they give it to you. However it's described on the menu. Yep. Take right. it, sir. Take it. You're not going to be like, just make me whatever you want, chef. Because I don't want that shit. My eyes are closed and my mouth is open. Right. Just put it in. <laughs> put, like the caulk in my, my Plymouth. Or right. Like my Chrysler. Rather. Stuff it in. Yeah. And then later on, you're leaky. Ooh. Well, yeah. yeah you shouldn't have gotten that shake. Oh. Oh, no. Overstuffed. Danger. You know, but speaking of going back, uh, you know, we've covered a couple uh, topics over, over a little while here. So... There's been some some developments in some of these stories oh, that yeah. we we've shared over the over the past uh, couple of months, and I, I think one of them notably is uh, the Gypsy Rose Blanchard story. Dee oh, Dee's yeah. awake. Dee Dee's Dee Dee. Well, yeah, she'll never be awake again. But uh, never gonna. She's a zombie again. now. <laughs> well, she's, she's kind of immortalized even further because there was that produ- the film production of on I believe it was Hulu, right? Yeah, Hulu's got something. And uh who do? The, I believe it's do actually what? getting like an Emmy nod or something. Wow. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. I what? don't know. It could be wrong. For but Miss Arquette? Uh perhaps. Uh you know, like I was just seeing blurbs about it. I, I haven't I didn't watch it. I I don't know. I didn't I, see a need to. I feel like we covered it. Yeah, probably way better. I've seen some other stuff on Hulu. <laughs> and, very, yeah, I agree. Very objective. I agree. Very. Oh, you disagree? I didn't say. Do you I not s- listen to the show? I mean, this is a good show. I don't like listening to myself anymore. I can't do it. No, no I, 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 no, I, I listen to all the time. I don't listen to myself ever. Not on playback or just even <laughs> in my head. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's, I, I mute myself. Smart. It's good. Your thoughts and your words. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I was, I was trying to think about you, but I can't. See, so, you can't think about me no, either. No. What do you think about that time my beard touched your neck? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> God, he gave me the tingle, something fierce. <laughs> Just to stray away. We, Kevin and I had a little a little incident. Uh, <laughs> we we do a we do like a biweekly game night together, mm-hmm. and uh, when we were setting up the game, I was. Uh, Kind of over Kevin's shoulder. Yeah, you were creeping up behind me. I real was. Close. I was. Uh, my my. I was trying to Biden him a little. <laughs> Biden my time with him, you know, so to speak. Yeah. Oh please, the veal is great this week. And uh, <laughs> and as I was leaning over, I, I have a long beard. I have a big giant beard. Yeah, it's um, fucking thick. Thick. Beard. It's the Frederick Douglass big. It's it's actually what makes my voice so so baritone. If oh I shave it off, I did, you know, get the high pitch. Yeah, and I have no chin. Everything's coming together. Right. I have no chin. I just mm. have uh, an upper jaw, like the upper mandible. That's it. I have no... The beard gives me that base. No, mm-hmm. no trouble. Yeah. It's like what my World of Warcraft guy looked like. Right. My undead's right. Yeah. got no jaw. Yeah, the tongue hanging out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, the beard holds the tongue. Smart. It's good. And uh, <laughs> as I leaned over to look, uh, Kevin jumped away real quick. And I didn't go tickle him. I didn't do anything. I, you know... <laughs> I threatened to. But. I wasn't in the Adidas tracksuit, so. But the beard. That was episode one for those of you just joining us. <laughs> the beard uh, grazed his neck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel it. Uh, yeah, This thing's like a dog's tail. Kevin did. I definitely felt that. Kevin felt it. What did been... you think it was at first? Did you think it was a bug? Did you think it was my hand? I don't know. I smiled. Maybe you were just blowing on the back of my neck. <laughs> Well, the wind does travel from my nose down the beard. It's oh, a valley it, now. It's, it could be both. In hey, the wait, winter. Kevin, hey, Kevin, was it like this here? Let me... I'm like the frost Ooh, giant Yimmer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely it. I'm like Yimmer. You know, they just blow cold. Like in the in the wintertime, the nice icicles form. Did you say Gimlet? Gimlet, what? I don't have a Gimlet. So, Gimlet. yeah, we had that moment. Uh, he dove out of the room. It was amazing. Like, he went from his chair out of the room, which was at least, like, 20 yards. Wasn't it a roll? Yeah. He did a roll. No, just one single leap. Like, uh, just one flying straight like leap out of rooms in a single bound. Yeah. He turned into a bullet. <laughs> Don't <laughs> graze his neck. We, so, yeah, that happened. That happened. Yeah, yeah. Heavy senses. And and also the, the dramatization of... of uh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard happened. Oh, that's true. 
I feel like we're kind of soothsayers with a few of these episodes. Seems like it, right? We we had some of that. We we had that with uh, lucky D twenty rolls, man. Yeah, you know, we, we we started talking about Jerry Stahl, and they, there was a, the Alf talk. I don't know. I don't think that I haven't heard anything. Qu- that else, died though, quick. It's yeah. dead. Yeah. 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 yeah, As far as far as I had seen, it's dead. Um, but yeah, so Gypsy Rose doing really really well in, in prison <laughs> you know uh, healthy, she gets uh, out soon right yeah about five years she, she's up for parole in 2024 but she has a parole hearing in 2021 there's a lot of people that are like you know there's a petition to to free her early oddly enough here's what's kind of creepy and weird her facebook post that says the bitch is dead mm-hmm. that's the last post still up Ooh, yeah well still i mean up. that makes the sense she's not gonna get up. on there and no no but I mean, the page is, like, locked down. Nobody can comment on it any longer. But it should be closed. It's weird, yeah. It's kind of yeah, like a strange closed. immortal. I think it's system. tasteless. Well, you know, Dee Dee Blanchard wasn't a very nice person, and I think that's kind of a good immortalization for her, you know, yeah. and, uh, rather than some, you know, TV show. Did, did the TV she... show would be out there be in syndication and then repeats. And, uh, but just, uh, just share that share that post every day. Did she tag Dee Dee? <laughs> I don't know if she had time. <laughs> she went in the heat of the moment. You know, you're like, oh, I'm covered in blood. I don't, I just, mm. What the fuck's your screen name? Post. At. Shit, I should have tagged her. Uh, Damn. Live and you learn. And then go to jail. That's Louisiana, right? That's Louisiana. Um, yeah, so like I said, she's healthy and seemingly happy. I'm sure uh, she's probably happier than pretending to be all of those problems. There was an interview recently, uh, early May, um, <clears throat> with Rod Blanchard, mm-hmm. father mm-hmm. of Gypsy, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, he said she's you know happy, healthy, um, has a uh, pen pal boyfriend. Ooh, even though you know the the boyfriend that helped do the murder said he'll always love her. Oh, that might get weird for the new boyfriend then. It might. I mean, it's, I don't see. He's not getting out. Any, you know, he's not. He's there for. No, life. I think he's there. He's life. He's, he's a lifer. lifer. He's a lifer. Yeah. He's a lifer. I meant to ask. So, <laughs> in order for them to do her story, did they pay her? Did they pay the families? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I wonder. Uh, I wonder if they got paid anything because, like, to be able to make money off of their story. Well, the fact that Rod stories. Blanchard is taking interviews probably tells you a lot. Yep. So, yeah, getting paid. Yeah, definitely. Why not? You got to capitalize on this. On this, you know. She probably has money in the account, and she's got some followers, and you know, sure, they're getting stoked. Here, here's some money. Go. Well, it's been sensationalized Rose, uh, again Rose. and again. Yeah. You know, like, even here, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it. We're part of the problem. Oh, I love that. I love being part of the problem. That makes me so happy. Actually, that's like my goal. Oh, is being part of the problem. Wow. Jeez. Oh, Do you just like? Because it's not always a bad thing being part of the problem. I feel like the fact that it's a problem makes it a bad thing. Well, no, it depends on whose perspective it is. It makes it a bad thing. And I can just jump from perspective to perspective, you know. It's like, oh, that offends you? Yeah, I'm I'm doing that. Nice. (laughs) You like that? Oh, I don't. They call me Mr. Contrarian. Wait, that's my DJ name. Holy shit. DJ Contra. Pew, 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 pew. (laughs) Were you saying that was actually a voice of so, uh, someone singing? Yeah, pitched up, uh, pitched up uh, voice stab because it's been used for like scratching and, and that DJ call noise and yeah, pretty neat. I need to do more field recordings. Oh yeah, it's a good time right now. Good mm. time. Yeah, it's warm out. Yeah, gotta go record in the field. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> so there's yeah there's like I said there's that petition for her to be released early because. She's up for a parole hearing. Okay. She's not eligible until 2024. So oh, okay. she's got five years. Yeah, well, whatever. She's got a time to get a lot of signatures. Does it say how many uh, signatures are on the petition so far? 68,000 right now? Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. Hmm. Um, you know, it I don't know it if it won't it's... sway anybody, though. But it probably won't. Um, nope. I don't think the... there's going to be much clemency for you know this act. You know? Mm-hmm. And as, as uh, you know, I'm not defending Dee Dee Blanchard. I'm not defending murder either though you know there's extremes yeah you need to if anything she had a choice she could have walked away she could have just run off with her boyfriend actually Dee Dee wasn't letting her walk 
Well, she would have been sneaking out. She rolled going, away. She's going on the internet and going on phone calls and shit. Right. Well, it was a battery well, up chair. Sleep. Her and her boyfriend could have just away in the night and that can can't carry all that weight. Like she could have gotten a job at Disney. Dee Dee would have woken up. Dee would have been awake. Hmm. They should have put something in her drink just to make her sleep for a little while. There's also like the thought of suing for malpractice has crossed the Blanchard family mind. Also. Uh, oh, I, all those doctors that signed off and everything. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like. It, oh, they're pursuing. It, it, it's crossed their mind. Um, you know, some lawyers say they didn't have a case. It happened too long ago. Um, even Gypsy is uh, looking into it, according to, Ooh, to Rod Blanchard. She's pursuing suing. And if she wants to do that, the, that the family will support her. She could get punitive damages. Yeah. She's yeah, I would say. I don't, yeah, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know much about the law. It depends on how many doctors she had seen. It was a lot. But, it but was the, a lot. It sounded like a bunch. Yeah, it was like multiple doctors. Right, because they know. kept going to the new doctors before right. the other ones got wise. So they could probably have some like serious well, this is hundreds be- of millions of dollar lawsuit. Right. This is before the prescription uh, webbing that they're doing now, you know, where... Like especially here in, in where we are, New York, you know, like everywhere you go is linked now. You know, if you go to one doctor, you can't go hopping for meds anymore. You know, like it's not. No, as they'll, easy they'll be as able to, to see be. the pattern of abuse, right? You know, you got to go to some like shady clinic where you pay, pay cash. You know, like that's hey, just because they got good prices. That's the only reason I go there. Right? You need <laughs> cash. You save money sometimes. You know, yeah, like buying a car. Right. You have a discount card? They have like a club card? Yeah, I'm a frequent flyer. Nice. You're flying high, homie. Always. Mm. Gotta touch that sky. But, you know, this was such a, a weird case anyway with, with uh, Gypsy. You know, the, the, the whole exploit... I mean, the, that form of exploitation with your child is just uh, beyond comprehension. You know, I mean, like, M- Munchausen, by proxy in itself, is, is kind of beyond comprehension to... Uh, you know, relatively sane person, uh, you know, but I mean, just to, to want to harm someone for, for like, you know, your emotional gain. And in the case of, of this, it was monetary too. It wasn't just, you know, to make her feel good about herself. It was to get laptops and TVs and shit, you know. It's also projection, you know, it's like you have parents that really want their kids to be a certain way. And this just went to the wrong way. Like you're right. She definitely suffered from illness. I mean, the worst part is the kid is getting a chance now in prison. You know, she's getting her GED. She's being, she's living a more vivacious life in prison than she was with her parent. That's uh, the irony's deep. It is. You Very know what? Deep. Maybe maybe this prison thing ain't so bad. It sounds pretty good in there. Th- three hots in a cot, right? Ooh. Just don't murder. Or like, just rob a bank or something. I don't know. Don't murder. No federal offense. You know, if you're really looking to do that, yeah, your hot's in a cot. Yeah, you get strong too. Ooh, you do a lot of push-ups and shit or whatever. Thank goodness, it's weights. so hard to fit gym time in. I just watched Stir <laughs> Crazy the other day. They lift a lot of weights in that movie. So Richard Pryor, Richard Pryor, Wilder. Gene Wilder. Yeah, yeah. I'm a pecker, you're a pecker. <clears throat> Wait a minute, are they like a frequent pair? Uh, yeah, they were. They oh. were. I had no idea. Silver Streak. Yeah, I saw Silver Streak like uh, last year or something. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. that was a fun movie. Fun, yeah, that was fun a fun movie. movie. See no, see no evil, hear no evil. Weakest of them all. Yep. You know, uh, that was around the time Gene was making some some interesting uh, choices for films. You know, like midlife crisis movies mostly. You know what have been incredible, Richard Pryor instead of uh, Cleavon Little, Blazing Saddles. I don't know if that's if I'm accurate in this, but wasn't that when Richard Pryor burned himself? I thought that was the '80s, literally. Or yeah, Richard Pryor uh, caught his hair on fire doing freebasing coke. Ah, oh, whoops! Yeah, burned burned himself pretty good, um, pretty bad, I guess. Huh? Yeah, he had to have surgery. I believe he had to have skin grafts. Yeah, grafts and everything. Yeah, it was awful. Um, yes. he, he was in Uptown Saturday Night in 74. It's the same year that um, Blazing Saddles came out. Okay. Well, what, Silver Streak was later then, right? Silver Streak? Yeah. Because they must have paired up later. 1976. Okay. So, they, yeah. So, they weren't even a pair. They, you know, they didn't do any movies together yet. So, I believe you were saying, though, before that Richard Pryor co-wrote 
Blazing Saddles, right? They yeah, co-wrote yeah. Uh, Blazing Saddles. Right. Okay. So, it makes sense. But he was supposed to be in the movie. He was supposed to play Bart, but the company wouldn't insure him, the studio. So, Mel Brooks had to pick Cleavon Little. Hey, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Great movie. Yep. Yeah. Now, like I said earlier, uh, Gypsy has a new boyfriend, new pen pal boyfriend. Not much, not much talk about that. You know, Rod didn't want to comment too much about that. You know, it's a different relationship, though. Right. Well, I hope so. Com- according to this interview I've read, yeah, like it's a, di- it's there's no comparison. Right, says Rod. Mm-hmm. So he won't be murdering people for. Her. Well, no, he didn't say that. But you know, <laughs> let's hope they don't. I hope she learned a lesson. Well, I don't know if they let her cosplay in prison. Ooh. They might. Or she might just catch birds and, you know, pretend she's Snow White or something. I don't fucking she's, know what you're doing. She's just catching her. birds for making that weird meal. Oh. Who's that girl? With, on, yes. yeah. Who's that girl with all the bird poop all over? Oh, that's Gypsy. One on TV. Yeah. One in the same. One in the same. I, I just think of Orange is the New Black, I guess, with women's prison. Thanks, you know, Genji, for giving me that vision of women's prison, I guess. So it's just all banging hot lesbians. No. Right. And perfect. A lot of uh, oral sex. It's yeah. more like Oz. It's more like Oz. Well, Oz was really violent, though. Like, exactly. It's probably more like Oz. But there's like. But even like the sex was violent because it's, you know, prison sex. I don't ever want to find out. I hope these women are not like it is on Oz. I hope they're not living that life. I never saw Oz. So I don't think I want to. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I never. My beard it. wants to watch it with you. Ooh, right on your neck. It'll keep you warm. I promise. Oh, good, Kevin. That's good because I have goosebumps right now. Protect your neck. <laughs> It'd be like Doctor Who's scarf, Tom, Tom Baker's scarf, really <laughs> long scarf, or yeah, Harry Potter's scarf. Sure. Oh. Bender Binden Cumber Dobbin. What's that dude's name? He's the one. Doctor Strange. C- Cumble, Cumble, sn- Cumble Snitch. Cumble. Yes, Benson Cumberband. That guy. Uh, Doctor Strange. Benson Hedges. Doctor Strange. Cucumber Bart. <laughs> yep, that sounds right. I thought you were talking about like his little magic cloaky thing that protects him and is tough and stuff. I thought you were saying your Tough beard is, like, know. hanging down low. It's got a mind of its own. It does. Yeah, it oh, does. Okay. It's, yeah. it's deflected a few blades in its time. Smart. You know. There's been some instances where it's had to defend. Right. I'm like, I'm going to shave you the fuck off. I've gotten too much fucking soup in you, and it's like, psh, psh, Ooh. get away. Stop. It even talks. Oh. With my mouth. Wow. It's fucked up. It's got a mind of your own. And and uh, the the last part of this interview, they they ask, uh, does Gypsy ever speak of Dee Dee? No, she keep it's all in the past, right? That's because I mean, pff, do you really want to talk about Dee Dee? Everybody else is right, know? so oh, everybody else got that covered. Yeah, I like her uh, always looking forward attitude. I guess sure, yeah, sure. I mean, she's got a, a boyfriend lined up, but uh, she's gonna be GED'd. Um. Yeah. What I mean, and she's healthy. She because she didn't have any of these illnesses at all. So she's doing better. Right. It's, yeah. It's a, it's a such a such a very weird juxtaposition. This whole tale, this whole entire saga for this person. It's very very weird. It's good that she didn't have any lasting damaging effects from what her mom was doing. Right. Hopefully. Right. Hopefully, I mean, other than the, you know, the the mental scarring, right? That's probably like a ravine, like the Grand Canyon. Mm. But and her salivary glands. <laughs> What's that from? What? No, I'm trying. Damn it! All right, I've lost it. Damn it. Giving out dry jobs. That's all I know. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn. Now the teeth are there though. Didn't they pull our teeth out too? Oh yeah, some of them did get pulled out. She got like new ones. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if she's got new teeth. I didn't really investigate that much. All right. <laughs> well, Chipsy, if you're listening, you want to let us know whether or not you got teeth. Info at weirdandweary.com. Right, if you can email. Or R- Rod, if you're listening, you want to tell us. You know, We're not going to pay you anything. We're not getting paid, so you're not right. either. Right. This is voluntary. 
I'm just doing community service. You guys want to be here? This is community service for us, too. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Wait, but we thought you were... What, what's going on? Well, it's either that or the sandwich board in front of the place. I'll do the spinning sign thing. Ooh. No, I'm talking about the one that says, like, you know, I rubbed my junk on the window at this store. Oh, you're talking about... Oh, okay, okay. And that's what I'm Kevin did. Shame. Yep, sorry. Kevin did that. Yeah, I'm getting king shamed. Sandwich of shame. Shame witch. <laughs> Now that's not all that's that, that's transpired in 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 recent events. Uh, we covered uh, another story about two doctors, uh, Mortimer and Klein. Mm-hmm. Well, one's uh, Mister Mortimer because he's no longer a doctor, right? And Mr. Klein, Mortimer and Doctor Klein. Klein was a doctor. Are they both no longer doctors? Or well, one's dead now, right? I don't really remember. How I don't really remember out. either. Huh. Anyway. But what was found is uh, there's more kids. <laughs> there's more kids. Uh, yeah, there's a Dutch fertility doctor that uh, also was found to be doing the same thing. Um, they found out he fathered 49 children mm. from his patients. Damn. Or for his patients. Wow, prime number. Good stuff. Yeah, well, he's prime candidate. Uh, that was Jan Carbat. Who, uh, died. Jim Carbat. Yeah, he died two years ago, though. Oh, sorry. Well, he's got a hell of a legacy behind him. Yeah, he's got... From, from, he's got, like, a whole fucking, you know, whole network. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good work. No child support for me. <laughs> Impregnated their mothers at a clinic in, oh, jeez, in Bijdorp. Wait, but is... he didn't actually impregnate them, like, naturally, did he? Uh, doesn't say. <laughs> Jury's still out on that one. I kind of no, no, doubt actually, it. No, no, they do, they would, I'm just messing yeah. I'm sure probably he, It's noticed. just the way it's written. It's just like, wait a minute. They're not being exact. Yeah. Stop being stupid. He just impregnated a few cups and then distributed that to real. Yeah. He just handed out right. pregnant cups. Yeah. Smart. You know, like I said in, in that episode, it's just the ego behind it is just baffling to me. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, my sperm's just as good as any other good sperm it's out there. better even yeah i'm a doctor my sperm is it's good doctor sperm spermy uh yeah they closed his clinic in 20 or er, uh, 2009 saying he had falsified data and they suspected he exceeded the permitted number of six children per donor wow uh yeah i'd say it's pretty clear he's way over that yeah jeez. Mm. now in indiana a, a new law was passed Earlier this month in May here, uh, that uh, made it illegal for doctors to do this. You can't uh, use your own product anymore. No more, oh, no more Klein po- product. You know? um, I mean, it makes sense, right? It's kind of weird. We had to pass a law. People weren't just like that. Seems wrong, right? Not wrong. And Liz White, one right. of the one of the uh, the woman who first came forward about this about her son not being her her husband's, you know, spoke about it recently um, on a couple uh, different media outlets, and um, she was uh, a big campaigner, of course, for this. Right, that makes sense. It should have been campaigned for a long time ago. It should have been actually just it should have just been a fucking thing, you know. Yeah, I don't even know why you need a campaign. People should just be like, yeah, that makes sense. Just sign it in tomorrow or something. Right. But, uh, yeah, it was signed into legislation. No more fertility fraud. That's a very nice nice term for it. Yeah. A nice moderate term for it. Fertility no fraud. more fertility fraud. No more fertility fraud. Protect your ovaries. Protect your sperm. And uh, basically, yeah, it's if you use your own sperm to impregnate a woman mm-hmm. instead of the donor sperm without their knowledge, felony. That makes sense. Cut and dry. Done. I mean, How much of a fine? It's a felony. So three to five years? Three to ten? Five to ten. Five to ten. Five to ten minimum. First offense could happen. And it should. It should. That's an awful thing. That's probably one of the worst things that uh, you could ever do, you know? I mean, it's just as bad as when you realize the kid's not yours all along. You know, like in a regular relationship, you know, it's my brother's kid. Oh, man. 
Well, God, I'm gonna. It's my nephew. It's my nephew now. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. I don't know. Speaking of that weird sperm, uh, there was also another doctor up in Canada who, a few years ago, resigned for similar cases. Looks like, uh, Dr. Bernard Norman Barwin ran into... Owen Barwin? Norman. Norman. Oh, my God. Barwin. Yeah, Barwin. Barwin. I mean, that's he such was, an ugly name. Yeah, well, he it was is. just out here borrowing sperm. There were a whole series of cases <laughs> against him for uh, using the wrong sperm, and he was like, ah, it was just an accident every time. And it was his? Uh, there is now a formal class action lawsuit against him of children born of, from this clinic, and they're all saying that they think it's his sperm. Oh, man. That's a just, lot of sperm. Yeah, yeah, Jerry's... Jerry's working on that one. How much syrup is, are they suing for? <laughs> oh. I, I'm i not sure. Syrup, donuts, and beer. I mean, that's that's just a lot of jerking off. Yeah? That's just a lot of jerking off. Yeah. <laughs> I want to think of the bukkake of the world. I mean, you're really just bukkakeing little Petri dishes or whatever the hell they contained it in, you know, little... One I would just try. I would try every bitches. size. I try like a little little test tube. I yeah. try a big beaker. I try one of those big big flasks. You know, all that stuff. Sure. <laughs> See what I could fill first over a week. Oh, that smell. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. I'm not, I'm not sure what kind of mayonnaise you're eating. Oh my god. Oh, so, hell man. Hell man. Hell man. Is that after Hellboy hit puberty? Oh uh, yeah, the shoe would just. Yeah, you know, burn through walls. <laughs> Hell, man. I'm not doing anything, Mom! <laughs> so, yeah, this this is... Uh, I wonder if it was like a thing. Like a little little club. Yeah, you think they knew each other? Yeah, they might have. You know, I'm speculating, but... I mean, it just seems like a little club of people like, Hey, how many, how many you got? 49? Wow, man, I'm up to like 22, but... Well, don't... No, man, I, I wear the chilled underwear, like you said. Gotta make sure them swimmers are swimming. Right. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, you're not supposed to put the ice right on the skin. That's probably why you're having troubles ejaculating. Oh. Three, three, three years later. Yeah, I'm up to like 82. <sighs> That's a high so, score. I wear a kilt. No wonder where. <laughs> Done. Easy breezy. Done. Just, yeah, it's just natural cooling all the time. No fungal, nothing like that. You know, it's just... Whew. You still wearing your uh, assless chops every day? They're under my pants today. Ooh, it's yeah. kind of hot for that. It's a little warm. I like it. <laughs> Sweat really moistens things up. It's good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Stinking things well, up too. It also makes it so like when you they kind of mold to your your, your leg. Ooh, you know? mine stick right to my body. It's kind of crazy. But leg I mold. You guys. I'm surprised you pulled that off with all that body hair. Well. You know, it's a skill. Cornstarch. Uh, a little spit. <laughs> no, you know the real secret? He just shaves his whole lower half. Is that he way he, down to shave? You just make up for it by keeping the long beard. I do. Um, I get into like a like a, a barrel with okay. like a, a 30% dilute of whatever the active ingredient of a nair is. Okay. <laughs> you dip yourself in for the hand. Dip ceiling. in. And I, but, I, but I also pretend I'm C-3PO. Oh, sir, this is so <laughs> oh, this is so good. It burns like a motherfucker. <laughs> right. This is so great, sir. Yeah. Um, my my neighbors are really freaked the fuck out by it. Like I don't know. It's just I'm like it's just lie. It's just a little lie. You know, it just burns a little. People call you a liar, and you're like, you know it. You know I am. You're not. <laughs> Shit, man. I haven't had louse in a long time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Lie. No, I don't get it. I don't know. I think that was a treatment for louse, wasn't it? These two lie. I think you're thinking of grouse. Oh, stuff a grouse with lie. Yes. Grouse the louse. Yeah. Just dry it right out. Mm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you could probably make a couple bucks live streaming that. I could. Just saying. I could. I'll try it. I'm going to try it. Until uh, Disney catches wind of it. They're, they're going to take everything. Yeah, they're going to be like, we had a C-3PO weird sex thing planned. Right, this guy <laughs> smoothing his bottom half, like it's just weird. He, Anthony Daniels, like freaked out. He's he's 
He's, he's, he's too finished. perfect. He's too perfect. I quit. He'll never wear the suit again. Oh, no, actually, is he alive? I don't know. I know Peter Mayhew recently, uh, recently passed. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, he passed. Rest in peace. And uh, I don't know. John Singleton. We covered that. John Singleton. Yep. What was the uh, C-3PO's name? Uh, Anthony Daniels. We'll find out. We know yeah. Warwick Davis still kicking. Yeah, yeah, he's he's been in the the Star Wars movies. Anthony Daniels still kicking. Nice. All right, good okay. for him. Okay. Yeah. Um, Warwick Davis starring in the uh, the Hang Glider Ewok movie uh, coming out soon, right? Oh, I can't wait. D- this December. Oh, that's Detective Pikachu. Never mind. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anything about these movies. That's Pokey. Pokemans. Yep, that's right. thumbs. All the above. Well, all these kids that were, uh, fa- you know, fathered, uh, 49, 22, however many, whatever the game they're playing, hopefully they're going to go see Detective Pikachu. That'd be fun for them. Oh, yeah. Pikachu. They'll, uh, they'll learn how to detect that their fathers were false. Like, I want to do a show where, uh, like a TV show, like the great gathering, like find all 49 of these kids. You know, yeah. Just have them. Like yeah, like in twenty years. Okay, it's gonna be like a link link letter link letter movie. So it's gonna take twenty fucking years to do. Okay, all right. And we gotta film every second of it though. So I'm gonna need like forty nine crews. Yeah, watching you know each kid, and then we're gonna like have them all grow up. Yeah, and then fight each other to death. That's, oh, yeah. we can tell. So which... it's like battle royale. Right. This is I think why they uh, why they're doing this. Oh, smart. They've been playing the long game the whole time. Right. The guys that get caught, they're just out the game. You know, they're, 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 they can't play. They lose all their pieces. You lose. Uh, yeah. I, th- I think an, another one that I would like to see would be all 49 of them get together. Yeah. And they go and they wipe out all the people involved with the... Uh, actually, no. They're on their way to get the doctor that did this to them. The kids. Yeah. It's well, like, it's dig, like a kill dig Bill. That one up. It's like a kill Bill sort of situation. Yeah. No, I'm saying not for him. I mean, he, he's no, dead. Be, but that's I'm even saying. better. Dig him up, stab his corpse a bunch of times. Yeah. We did it again. We killed him again. Kind of just toss Double it dead. back. Now in the he's hole. dead. Toss it back in when you're done. Yeah. Don't even use the coffin. If he if he's ashes, everyone pisses in it, turns it into clay. Nice. And that's going to be like into a big a, dick. It's a short film. It's just 15, 20 minutes. I just wrote it. Yeah, well, we can show them all getting together, and maybe they take like a school bus over or something. Forty nine, they're gonna need two. I'm sold. I'm gonna talk to my lawyer. Okay, I think, we'll I think a school bus shit. is like twenty two occupancy, great. so um, they're gonna need two or three. They're gonna need a short bus too. They'll need a convoy of buses oh, and a short bus. I love this already. Let's not copy Dark Knight, though. Come on. No, let's let's, let's use ambulance, ambulance, Am- ambulance. <laughs> ambulance. Got amber lamps on. Ambulance and fire trucks. This is sounding like a fun time. If there's a Swap bouncy vehicle. house, we got a fucking party. It would be inside one of the short buses. Okay. That's where the And we're not using it in a derogatory way. We're just saying, like, we're going to need a shorter bus for the seven remaining people. Right. That's just math. Yeah. But you have kids. Or five so remaining people. See, my house. math is way bad. So. Take the seats out. Put them inside one of those buses. You want to put these people at risk? Lee Noble, you're trying to put people at risk? No, I, I wasn't finished. You take the seats out and you just put them inside one of those balls. Like, you know, like you can run down the hill. Oh, like, yeah. Like the gopher ball things and yep. you're safe. Something like that. So no matter where they land, they'll be safe. Did you see people tried getting in those and fighting a bull? Yeah. Yeah, that didn't pan out. It didn't, no, they didn't. Fighting a bull? Well, yeah. they're like, uh, they're just running around seeing who could last the longest with like an angry bull running, charging them all. Wow, that sounds stupid. It was stupid. That's how I imagine, like, Dr. Klein filling his cups, like an angry bull. Just like, oh, I hate my job. Yeah. None, none of these candidates, they're all weak spermed. <laughs> Mine. Yeah, he doesn't have any time to waste. Well, I have the strongest swimmers of all. What do you mean the donors are six weeks out? I'll just do it myself again. Ah, oh, jeez, the things I do for this country. Yeah. Yeah, you build a little army. It's kind of fun. Kind of fun. I, I I think that's what the plan is, you know. See, who has the most little underground uh, game? Right. Who has the most kids? You know what he named his little spermies? His little sparmy. See, now that's illegal too. You can't say that in Indiana. Sparmy. Now you can't say it in New York. 
<laughs> You'll say that. Sounds like a box of taunting you. Spar me. <laughs> yeah, like an old timey one though. He's definitely got like the upturned fists. Spar me. Oh, yeah. You want to spar me with me, huh? Hmm. It mustache. Yeah, he definitely he's throw a couple pip pips in there. Or mustaches, actually. Because yes. they would be combed mustaches, not not this fucking like crazy mess I got. Like, gotcha. I thought you meant like he had two of them like Double decker. It, well, it would be. It would be like you know, a combed and then parted mustache, Ooh. waxed or 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 greased or oiled. Yeah, you know, however much money you have. Oh, it's sperm. Uh, oh. with sperm, it's free. <laughs> well, sperm machine. There's that movie, the something about Mary. They do the sperm thing. But yep. Hey, look at my hair now. Yeah. Sperm. Spermed. Doesn't move. Look at it. It's like fucking shellac. It's like Ronald Reagan. I got shaking my head. Look at that shit. Yeah. Ooh, doesn't move at all. Those flakes, it's not dandruff. It's just nope. hard spermed. Skin flakes. No, sperm flake. I oh, got sperm, sperm on it. Not from the makers of corn flakes. <laughs> that was, I, I mean, I don't use my own sperm for my hair. No, that would be weird. That would be really weird. I use Dr. Klein's. There's mm. plenty of it. Yeah. It's fucking probably gallons hidden away in some, some freezer somewhere. Lifetime, what are you talking about? There's only 20 people left on the earth. We need to repopulate. I found this milk jug in the freezer. <laughs> it's milk, Doc. No, it's sperm. Yeah. It says it says like <laughs> just start pouring. Klein's kind on it. You know? <laughs> Klein's lines. C C L I N E C I N D. Klein's kind. The lineages. Oh, God, mm. gross. I'm gonna go fill a few cups, though. I'm gonna go do that now. Yeah. So that's where I'm going to go. Yeah. I don't oh, know you, what you guys are doing. You know, the other thing that uh, you forgot to mention that is being adapted into a Netflix documentary is Dr. Rap. Oh, that's right. Oh. That's right. Back in January, there was a little article about how Netflix picked it up. That's right. That That's going to be an interesting watch. Um, I wonder if they can get Jeremy Irons to play Dr. Rap. That'd be dope. That's Jeremy Piven. Yeah, it'd be Jeremy Piven. No. Vin Diesel. Eminem. That's Dr. <sighs> Rap. Can it just be The Rock? But it could always be The Rock. It's always The Rock. Good. Chadwick Boseman. The Rock. Chadwick. The Rock hmm? is stronger than Chadwick Boseman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. He's just stronger. I assume he's in phase four of MCU. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I would hope so. Unless he just, you know, turns to dust again. Spoilers Uh-oh. from the movie. Spoilers. Two that one time. Three years ago. It was dusty. That was three years ago, right? But what about the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Adam Warlock thing? They have to, like, um, do something about that for the next Guardians of the Galaxy. No, we don't talk about him in the movies. Because yeah. Adam Warlock was part of that whole Thanos thing back in the day. But anyway, it's who cares? It's gutted. No, it's not, because they have that multiverse thing to go off of now. That was my angry. Nice, I liked it. Growled from deep. Good perfections. So yeah, that's what that's you know. Just we're doing a little rehash this time. Yeah, yeah. A little look, oh. little rehash. Uh, you know what? You know what? Speaking of the Avengers, mm. uh, that the Chinese social credit score story. Oh right, yeah, yeah. the creep. Yeah, nineteen eighty four, pretty much. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Watching you if you play games too much, you're a, you're you're a slob. You eat too much, right? Yep, everything, all the bad things. You're, if you do anything too much, you're going to jail. Right, the Sesame credit score. Yeah. Uh, so when the uh, the newest Avengers movie was showing over in China, beforehand they would show big lists of people in the area that were known debtors, like uh, just had large sums of debt. So yeah, they put up names and the amount of money they still owed, and they were like, "Hey, if you guys know these people, since they're in your area, keep an eye out, see if they're spending money unwisely, see if they're." got enough money to be comfortable maybe they should be paying their debts back so turn in your neighbors they did it wrong why they did it wrong how so i mean this is wrong anyway this is a wrong thing but they did it wrong because they could have said free movie pass if you you turn east anyway on this list you yep, know yep turn them in free movie pass smart or even better yeah every 10 you turn in 
you get like another free movie pass. <laughs> okay, great, great. And a ticket for a free small water. No, 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 no water. Just the popcorn to make you dry as hell. Right, <laughs> and it's not even real popcorn. You know, like that styrofoam the, peanut. The, the, the plastic rice videos that are going around. I don't know if you guys seen those? No. Like plastic they, rice. Yeah, they show these guys taking like plastic bags, chunks of plastic, putting it in a mill. They like melt it down a little bit and put it in a mill, and it spits out little grains of rice, and they fill in a rice bag. Oh, I don't know if it's like you know some production or if it's real. I don't know. Huh. It's on the internet, so I mean, who oh, the it's fuck, definitely who real. Fuck knows that's messed up. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you could tell the difference. Yeah, you can easy. Do you eat plastic grains of rice? No, all you have to do is just take and just. Yeah, do you, do you do that with your rice? No, but do you, you wash your rice. Yes. You know how many people don't wash their rice? I don't even eat it, you don't so eat rice? I don't have to it worry about that. It grows from the ground. It grows in the ground and water and all that shit. you got to wash it. I I like ground water. <sighs> I like brown water. Yeah, I always wash my rice. Well, I'm going to go wash some rice. I'm going to go wash rice and mm-hmm. uh, fill some cups. Ooh. Um, a, lot of, a lot of white happening. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, on that note, uh, be good to yourselves and be good to everyone. And the Sons of Anarchy are here. (laughs) Oops. That's Disney. They're coming for you already. Damn it. I knew it. Yeah, they're they're riding riding, uh, the Apocalypse apocalypse Choppers. Yeah. (laughs) That's their new show. That's a real one? Mm Mm-hmm. Goofy and... uh, Goofy and his, his, like, remember Goof Troop? Yep. Think think Sons of Anarchy with Goof Troop. Okay, so it's like Day's End, but with Goofy. Yeah. Cool. Right, that game. Nice. That, day's gone? Died. Uh, days. The days are over. Something like that. Days gone? Yeah. The recent game? Yeah. Days gone. Right. The day is over, though, so. Yeah. Well, that's why he's riding out. Got a blast. Got a blast. <laughs> Catch us online www.weirdandweary.com Twitter, Instagram You know, we do have Facebook We never mentioned Facebook too. Oh. There's a Facebook And YouTube, there's a YouTube too. If you hmm. want to watch or listen to us on YouTube yeah. And stare at the, the picture that we choose for the week It's <laughs> a, lot of good, a lot of good stuff On our pictures it's Good pictures Yeah, you guys We can do slideshows on it, right? Yes Actually, I might just do animated dancing on myself Ooh. Like, I might just draw myself dancing. Okay. Like, uh, Take On Me, remember that video? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to rotoscope myself. Wow. That's commitment. Doing the nair. Nice. The things slick, you do for I call us. it the slick. The slick down from your wick down. C-3PO. The C-3PO glide. So, yeah, be good to yourselves. Be good to everyone. I'm Jason. I'm Kevin. And I'm Malie. And we're the weird and the weary. Catch us online. Twitter, Instagram, www.weirdandweary.com, it's a Facebook page, YouTube. I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah, that sounds nice. And, uh, yeah. Should put some special features on there sometime. Sure, like naked dancing. Oh, wait, now you get banned. Oh, uh, okay. I could rotoscope myself doing the... We could reenact the three C, the C-3PO dip. Oh, yeah, I could yeah, reenact yeah. that. Nice. Rotoscope it, like take on me. Yeah. Do, 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 do. JKL, JKL Mania. Jekyll.